The 21 Best Lesbian TV Shows to Watch Diverse, Queer, and Female Experiences aren't often seen on television, but these shows are a good place to start. I tweeted half-heartedly that there wasn't enough lesbian content for queer women to get us through 700 years of social distance. At the time, I did not know how long this pandemic-induced isolation would last, but I did have evidence, a lifetime of unsuccessful attempts to find entertainment with women who love women. On the other hand, it now appears that this is shifting. In 2020, there are a plethora of limited but respectable shows that portray lesbian and bisexual women, including a Los Angeles police chief, a candidate for mayor, a hip women's magazine editor, and a middle-aged adult from the Midwest in crisis. Even though there is not yet a comprehensive representation of the variety of queer female experiences on television, these lesbian television shows are a great place to start. Naturally, queer content is not limited to queer individuals only. Accepting fully developed, complicated, lovable, sometimes unlikable, queer characters is another part of being an ally. Because there are still so few LGBTQ characters on TV, we sometimes have to actively look for queer women. Numerous lesbian-led television shows are currently free to stream, which is good news for all of us. You should watch this to become an expert in contemporary lesbian television ordinance, which includes half-hour sitcoms, film-quality dramatizations, family-friendly outfit shows, and reality works of art. Lena Waithe's single-camera, semi-autobiographical sitcom about a queer black aspiring screenwriter, Hattie, played by Jonica T. Gibbs, and her two straight best friends lies in Los Angeles didn't get the attention it deserved when it debuted on BET in March 2020. The pandemic was to blame. Fortunately, however, you can watch all eight episodes online right now. Catch up before the 2021 premiere of the second season. Cynthia Nixon plays Gwendolyn Briggs, her love interest, in Ryan Murphy's binge-worthy backstory of the mildly off very deranged nurse Mildred Ratch from One Flew Over the Cuckoo's Nest. Oysters are used by Briggs to seduce Paulson's character on the California coast, and the show moves on from there. It even makes a pit stop at a bar for women, which would be perfect for most of the second season.